So Vidu AI is finally here and this is the direct competitor of Kling AI, Luma AI and Runway ML Gen 3. So if you are not familiar with the Vidu AI, I covered a video on this topic a while ago but at that point this was not publicly available but, but now this is accessible for everyone. So I am very excited. Let's try it out. Alright, so this is the website vidu.studio. You will find this link in the description below and this is the interface of the website. And if I scroll down, you guys can see some of the features that it offers. Now to access this, you just have to click on this create video and you will have this interface in front of you. And these are some of the videos that I was trying before this video. So right now it offers you text to video, image to video and also consistent character feature. So we're going to try all of them. So first of all, let's try its text to video. So this is the prompt section, but if you want the AI to write the prompt, you can click on the inspire me and now you have the AI generated prompt, but we're going to try our own prompt. So let's try. A woman wearing a red dress and glasses walking on a Tokyo street. So this is going to be the famous Sora prompt and let's hit create and this will cost you 4 credits for that. Alright so this is the output video and to be honest the response was very quick. It took around 30 seconds to generate the video that is very impressive. So let's play this video. Okay. This is only 4 seconds long video and you can see the woman is walking towards the camera but uh, you can also notice some kind of the imperfections and inconsistency on the face and the first thing that you will notice in this video is that the quality issues. The video is very low quality. In fact we have the upscaling option that we are gonna try later in the video but the initial video is very low quality but overall the movements the people on the background looks really really good and here is the second output with the same prompt and we have different camera angles in this video and this woman is just passed by the camera but when she is walking you can see there are some transition and morphing effect on her dress now let's try to upscale this video and let's see if we can get some better results so just click on the upscale button and then you can see we have two different options we have the stable option and the creative options and uh, the creative option is not available yet this feature is under development so we're gonna go with the stable option and let's hit upscale all right so this is the upscale video and now you can see this is much much better than the previous video you can see each and everything is so detailed and uh, now we don't have any inconsistencies on the face and on the dress even the people on the background everything looks very very consistent so this upscale feature is not only improving the video quality but it's also fixing those imperfections in the video so the final video is much better than the previous one now let's try this prompt a woman playing guitar on the edge of a river and make sure to turn on the enhance prompt and let's see what it comes up with okay so this is the output video and i must say this is very impressive you can see the way camera zooms out her hair movement even on the background if you notice this water we have a very natural reflection and very slight movement on the water like the water is slightly and slowly moving and in the first look it looks really really eye-catching we have some issues with the face when the camera zooms out her face changes slightly but i think we can fix this issue by just upscaling this video but overall this is amazing now we can even change the styles if we click on this setting option you can see we have style option so we have the animation style and general so let's select the animation style and from here you can also change the video length that is available for the paid subscribers so let's select the animation so i'm gonna use the same prompt and hit generate all right so now we have the animated style video and yes there are some issues with the hands and also with the face the face is not fully visible but i tried to upscale this video and here is the upscale version of this video yes we have some inconsistencies but overall this is fine now let's move on to the image to video and uh, we're gonna try this image so let's select this one and after uploading you will see two options use as a first frame and then use for the character reference so we also have a built-in consistent character feature inside of this tool that we're gonna try later but first of all let's use the first frame and i will try this without any prompt and hit generate all right so this is the output video and i must say this is really good it tried to add that smoky and the foggy effect in the video that i really like and the woman is also trying to open her eyes and uh, overall i think this is a good video now let's try this image that i used in my kling ai video so i will type the same prompt a child is paragliding and let's see all right so this is the output and the results are interesting this child is moving away from the camera the background is consistent character is consistent but there is a technical issue in this one so if we look at the kling ai video you can notice the movements are very subtle but the ai knows that this child is holding a selfie stick but in case of the video ai 
this thing is missing but other than that the video is really really good and i must say the ai video tools are improving very fast because we have seen the luma ai then runway ml introduced their gen 3 and uh, just few days back i made a video on the kling ai and now we have the video ai and all of these tools are performing really really good yes they are working on a different algorithms on the different data sets but but they are doing a good job and as a user this is good to have multiple options now let's move on to the consistent character feature and for that again you have to apply your character image and then select use for the character reference so i'm using this guy as my consistent character so i'm gonna type a young handsome boy riding a horse and hit create all right so this is the output and the dressing and the environment is similar to our initial image but uh, this is not the same character maybe because we used a side pose of that character so let's try any human character so i'm gonna use this woman as our character and uh, let's type a woman wearing sunglasses and black leather jacket walking on a street okay so now this is matching with our character not 100 percent but you can say that this is similar to our character and if we talk about the video itself the video is really good i like the movement on the background the character movement the character is consistent but the only problem i have with this tool is their video quality so if they work on the video quality this is going to be really good so this was the first look of video ai and in my opinion this is a really good tool the characters are consistent the video motion movement everything looks really really good overall this is an amazing tool so the link is in the description below go ahead and try this out and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section and i'll see you in the next one